So far, we know that dark matte surfaces are good emitters of infrared radiation and that light shiny surfaces are poor emitters of infrared radiation. They are actually good reflectors. So how could we show this experimentally? Well, we could use a black matte teapot and a white shiny teapot. And in fact, the experiment would work with those. But instead, we're going to use a piece of apparatus called Leslie's Cube. Now, Leslie's Cube is a metal box which has got its sides painted. It was actually invented by John Leslie in 1804 and uh, he was a Scottish mathematician and physicist. It enables us to investigate the infrared radiation that's emitted from different surfaces. This is white black surface. Okay so we would fill up Leslie's cube with some hot water, maybe boiling water, taking care of course, and then we would place two thermometers at the same distance away from both the black face and the white face. So at this distance here, let's say that's five centimeters, could be five to ten centimeters perhaps, and this one here will also be five centimeters so that we keep it a fair test. And then we would observe the temperature rise as infrared radiation reached the bulb of the thermometers and uh, register the, the temperature rise. And what we will see is that the, the dark matte surface will increase the most in temperature. So this one here would have a higher, a higher temperature temp rise and that means it's receiving more infrared radiation from the dark matte side. side. So this is called Leslie's cube. A very simple piece of apparatus. Just make sure that the distances are the same for each side.